And we're live and direct right here, live on KXP at home. My name is Larry Mizell Jr., host of the Afternoon Show, and I'm here with Yasin, Nicholas Galanin, OC Notes from Yasin, right here, live and direct. How you doing, fellas? What's going on? Where are y'all at? Y'all are in different sites in space and time. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm just out here in the middle of nowhere. Okay, paradise, okay. It's called Paradise. <laughs> I'm I've home. been through paradise. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Home Nikki in Alaska. G, home? North Sika is. AK? Yeah, Sika. Excellent, excellent. Well, uh, thank y'all. Sika. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you for uh, recording that fantastic session. Let's get into it. Okay. Live on KXP at home with Yasin. Let's go.
me feeling all high in an instant We're live on KEXP at home with Yasin. Fantastic sounds, visuals. Where did y'all record that at? It was done in the spaceship, man. It Native, looked like it. The Native American Space Agency. I out love here. it. Yeah, man. A little synth time machine. Yeah, it definitely, definitely uh, uh, looked like a NASA installation. You got all the toys <laughs> up there. Crazy. Crazy. Um, you got a whole set on the set. Who all uh, is playing? We got um, Zachy D, Zach Dylan Wash, who's foundational member of this whole entire Shibuya Bang. Um, got Jesse Huey, the Don, on um, multiple instruments. He was hitting the Wurlitzer, hitting the Move One, hitting the SP four hundred four. He's just a, a hitman on all levels. Uh, Benjamin Verdos, who's everybody's very familiar with, uh, uh, Iskada fame, Mount St. Helens Vietnam band and all them, uh, playing guitar, smooth vocals. We had Jace. What's Jace's last name? Eiler. Jace Eiler on the drums. Magnificent drummer out of this world. Um, and then we had Nico. What's Nico's last name? I don't know Nico's last name, but Nico's a madman on, on the strings, guitar and <laughs> uh, bass and guitar. Um, and that's basically who we all have playing in that on that video, and we've been playing um, playing live with and all that. They're crazy. It's Nico Van Wyke. Boom. Van that's Wyke. a perfect name, Van Wyke. That's a, <laughs> I like that. a straight. You know what I mean? Yeah. 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 Van, man, that's fire. Yeah. Yep. Right on. How is the process of uh, kind of extrapolating what y'all laid down on that newest record, Indian Yard, into the live presentation with everybody? I, th I, th I feel like we're, you know, still uncovering that process, but like but everybody that we just announced here, like we got like a little, they're all, they're all, they're all uh, incredible artists on their own. So, so coming together seemed like it's been really good to come together over this project. You know, we recorded this over a course of time with several different, uh, studio situations as the studio and the spaceship grew. Uh, we recorded it with several different artists in collaboration. So, you know, it's been, <clears throat> it's been kind of fun to, to 
go through it again now like this live and bring it to you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Without a doubt, everybody's even during the rehearsal processes for the shows and um, doing this video, every, like you said, everybody's so fired that and he and the, the spaceship is still growing that and, you know, just putting pieces together as you put pieces together, as we get more items, there's more ideas, more ways to do things. You know what I mean? Uh, so it's just constantly growing and getting fresher. Love to see it. And I know it's, I know this project has evolved uh, in uh, first form, I believe. Uh, it was called Indian Agent. I've got that record. How did that evolution happen to become Yasin? You know, Indian Agent was a very particular moment. It was a very particular idea. And, and, and you know, we are all, we're always pushing forward artistically with our work, with our engagement in the world. Indian, our, our Indian agent was bringing to light some historical uh, realities that our communities still face today. And, and it was, you know, bringing those conversations uh, to this space of, of music and performance and gathering. Um, you know, we still have those underlying political conversations in our work in this music and in this record, we'll always have a, that voice. And uh, for me, I think it was important to not carry that name further. You know, we did, we picked it up and we, we spoke about it and we did, we did our, did our project based on that and we set it down. The next step, the next step for us was, you know, we had seen Indian Yard, which is just speaking on a lot of different levels of how we, you know, how important love is for one thing to our communities and to our work. Uh, <clears throat> one thing I noticed about the conversations in this record and stuff is that, you know, there's this idea of performative um, uh, revolution to response of oppression that certain communities expect us to be as in, but, but the reality is our revolution can happen however it needs to happen when it happens in our own time, while we're caring for ourselves still, while we're caring for our families still, while we're nurturing and tending to those things, you know? So, and I think that this record holds a lot of that. So, yeah, well said. Yeah, Indian Agent was very specific, you know, and as with a lot of things, just people had no idea. They had zero clue about anything. And, and, you know, historically Indian Agents was devils, man, assholes, you know what I'm saying? And, but like, uh, Cats just don't be knowing stuff, man. You know what I mean? And so we got to present cats things. Um, we're artists, man. So that's how we did it. You know what I mean? And the, the evolution, just like the making of even that Indian agent record to this record was completely natural. Just a, a part of just making music, going up to Alaska and making music with Nikki and Zach and all of the cats that end up coming through inevitably. Like, I, I don't think I've ever been there and there's not somebody who's, oh, such and such is in town or such and such is in town, you know what I mean? And so like everything has been very natural as far as um, the pro progression of the, of the music is gone, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. yeah. And it seems like it's real site specific, like you guys come together and record it at yes. NASA. Um, and <laughs> how do you all coordinate? I mean, just the two of you are extremely prolific artists in a variety of forms, uh, you know, crazy booked out, always putting stuff out. How do you guys manage to, to, to come together and, and put it together? I mean, I just want to be up there as much as I can, you know what I'm saying? And uh, just to be up in that environment, it's a special place. And then it's, just what we do, you know what I'm saying? This is what this cat does every day. He does what he does, you know what I mean? And he does it every day. Jackie D lives down the down the way from him, you know what I'm saying? And so it just, it just, it, it's, we want to do it, so we do it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's the it, best way it, to put it. It may, you know, and it's going to change. This is just how we've done it on these last parts. It might change again. Like, you know, it's, uh, but, but it's, you know, gathering, coming together, being here, and then, you know, powering up that space and then just capturing, you know, that's usually how it'll be for a little bit. 
we already have so much material from last projects and, you know, Otis just sent like a box of jewels my way. Uh, Stan was, a, so, so there's, there's like no shortage, but things find their way to, through the filters of like finishing themselves to the point where like, this has to be here right now. It has to be in the world kind of thing. So, you know, there was an editing process on the last record and there will always be that to some extent and some of these things. So, but yeah, there's just different stages, I think, but we're always capturing. Mm -hmm. I definitely think the evolution of the spaceship is huge. Just being up there, uh, more, most recently and seeing it, just, there's so much to learn and it has such a huge effect on the creative process. You know what I'm saying? Because it, it, th those devices aren't just pretty objects that are expensive. Like they really, when you connect them and learn about them the way that you're supposed to and apply them, it really changes the game. So it actually is important, at least to me, as you know, applying to what you say about going forward, like to be up there and using those things, yeah. using those tools because they're they're massive tools. You know, feel I me? Mean? It's like trying to build a rocket with fucking the shit you're supposed to use to build a rocket, or using just some Dewalt shit you buy from Home Depot, a little kit. Like <laughs> I want the rocket builder shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. For sure, for sure. Nick, Nick, Nicky got it. Yeah, I'm curious. I, I have a suspicion because I know how I met Nikki. How did you two meet? Home skillet, right? Yeah, early days. You know. Home skillet. You know, I actually think it was I. I've, I uh, came across Otis's music, and and uh, you know was some classics. You know, this was like the uh, uh, what's that? What's the record uh, at the Hidmo? Yeah, yeah, Secret like, Society. Uh, Secret Society oh, yeah. days. Mm -hmm. Shit, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, and I was just like, what is this? I loved everything that I was hearing. I was like, damn. And then, you know, internet days. Uh, got, got Otis up to the fest. We just started collaborating here and there on like you know i was asking probably hey, i got silver jack cut you want you want to do something on this or whatever and then it just like went from there yeah he extended the invite that first time to everybody like and he always did like come up anytime come up anytime to alaska and i took that sh took full advantage of that shit for real definitely was like man can i come up can i come up you know I think he's just trying to get the smoked salmon rest secret recipe, and he's still he's <laughs> still. He, I'm, I'm trying to get all the recipes. I'm trying to get still, all the recipes. He still hasn't still hasn't cracked the code on that one yet. Though. That's like <laughs> so, nah, I haven't even cracked the code on catching the motherfucking salmon, bro. This shit is embarrassing, dog. I just, wear, find out. I just wear the nice hunting gear, man, to make them look like I know what I'm doing. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> little safety <laughs> orange, little safety <laughs> orange, some little camo, real tree, you hey, know. You know what I mean? <laughs> little horseradish in the glaze. I'm still trying to break it down, you know. <laughs> it was, it was something, man. Yeah. You know, Otis, Otis showed up head to toe, Al, Al Bean. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Classics <That'll> only. <laughs> That'll be the day, bro. <laughs> that will be down. The, down. That'll be the day. Oh Bean my down. God. That's right before I get my deal with Adidas, man. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> you know, and in the spirit of gathering, like you're talking about, just a reference point for people who don't know, you're talking about Home Skillet, um, talking about Home Skillet Fest, which is based around the label that you've, you, when did you start? I don't even know, 2006, somewhere around there, 2007, yeah. So you threw a festival in Sitka, Alaska for like, 10 years straight, bringing yeah. acts from all over, including a bunch from Seattle. And that's how a bunch uh, of us first met the yeah. emissary, Nicholas yeah, Glennon. Man. And, <laughs> you know, the spirit of gathering community that was brought together uh, was striking, I know, to a lot of us that come from Seattle off the, off the rip. You know <laughs> what I mean? So I'm glad that, like, you've kept that alive in, with, with really, like, generative collaboration and are building your lab, you know? Yeah. Yeah, it's, I think all of this is what it's about is like community and, and, and our, our, our family and, you know, just gathering in that sense. And of course, this is a different scale right now. This is more focused on, on the artistic process. 
but but yeah, I think you know all that stuff's vital to a lot of this. So, no question. Well, let's get back into some of that vital gathering, that music in that incredible space right here with Yasin live on KXP at home. Oh, wow.
And we're live on KXP at home right here with Yasin, Nicholas Galanin, OC Notes. Thank you for sharing uh, this fantastic music. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the album out now on Sub Pop Records and Tapes, Indian Yard. How did y'all come together with Sub Pop? I met JP, Jonathan Pondman, at the Fry. Your feast has ended, you know. <clears throat> so he was out. Uh, and I don't know if this was around the time that Otis was performing with with Ish and Blood. You know, it was one of these events. And I um, uh, was introduced to, to JP and kind of stayed in touch since then. Somewhere along the lines, I handed him Starry Skies, Opened Eyes vinyl. And he was like, we should do a project. You know, that was years back. So, of course, here we are now. You know, these things definitely take the time they need, I feel like. And I feel like this record, you know, is a special, special project to us. So to have it and share it in these spaces and platforms is, you know, definitely significant. So, Most certainly. So straight from the top, straight from the chairman. Made the connection. Yeah, I see yeah. it. Okay. And that <laughs> happened around the fry and everything that was going on there. So that was like 20, 2014. Right. But well, there's other there's other undercurrents here in this conversation too that didn't, you know, we didn't we didn't know were also parts of the story. And one is Zachy D used to he was this child prodigy of a guitar player and he lived in Seattle area with his mother when he was a kid. His mother used to house sit Jonathan's dogs. Oh wow! You know, back in the day. Okay. And, and, and one day, JP, like you know, encouraged and supported Zach to enter this Jimi Hendrix guitar competition and set up a studio, like recording or something, for that to happen. And I don't know if Zachy won or like took second, but he did really well. And so I came back from this conversation with Jonathan fast forward to 2014. I was like, yeah, we realized that we both had our own little stories of how, how we knew Jonathan, I suppose. So, and every time I travel, if I ever like catch JP on the road, you know, we'll, we'll cross paths in different places and connect for a meal or something. He's got stories with everybody, man. Like he goes out and somebody has a story surrounding music of him. So, it's, you know, that's incredible that that's that synchronicity there. I love yeah. it. Yeah. That's always sure. how you know. It's crazy. Shout out to D. Zachy D is a prodigy, man. Zachy D. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to Zachy D, man. He can't be here yeah. right now. But underrated. Yeah. A real killer. Shout out to him. Shout out to yeah. the whole Sub Pop family. It's a family affair. Love to see it. Speaking of Constellation, Black Constellation on that record. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. Shout, shout out to McCoyo and Curtis Barnes and Royal Barnes and all that because that continual line exhibition at the Fry, I want to say to this day, was probably their most illest, uh, definitely the illest, but most successful joint perhaps. I don't know, but I know because I was there that they had the line around the, the joint. You know what I mean? And like, it was life changing for me. For personally, sure. you feel me? Yeah. So we got to give them the super big shout out. You know what I mean? That, no was, that, was, that was a historic moment for that city. Absolutely. Yeah, High water mark. And maybe he's, all, he's also that guy bringing everyone together in these ways, mm -hmm. like all the time. You know, much, much mm -hmm. respect on, and love bro. for that. Because, mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of us wouldn't be having these conversations if it wasn't for someone like McCoyo out here. 100%. That's right. Yeah. And you got your label mate. Uh, Ishmael Butler, Palisir Lads, yes. on the cut. On that. <laughs> that one is, is ice cold. Tell me about that one. Bob. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. That. Just killed that shit, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, always. Always. I've, a, <clears throat> I've, I've been sending Ish cuts, tracks back and forth throughout this whole process. You know, like, just, just kind of keep it open 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 door here for this because you know it's just an honor to to have him rocking with us like this stas mm -hmm. on the cut too and uh um, yes yes indeed gotta have the boss i was i was in the studio one day working on like the foundation of that that track you know i feel like the record was done in our mind 
but you know how you just keep working and things surface like and this one was one of those cuts it just surfaced up as like oh this has to go on the project like but and i was working on this cut and otis was out the chop and while i was in the studio and i like just checked my phone and caught him live or something out there i was like damn but the whole world was feeling that right you know at the time like especially like every you know and uh so that energy was there and the energy was in that cut and i sa actually sampled it i think live on the spot while otis was out there because that's was what it sounded this, like to me i was yeah. sitting in the studio i was like damn i'm just gonna grab this real quick and put it into this and you know here we are but that that's yeah. like that's my understanding of some of that some of that cut yeah it's crazy crazy that one uh absolutely one of my favorites and another one get yourself together tell me about that one that one mr oc notes is leading off on the vocals tell me about the construction on that one um i think really we was just i was just vibing in the in the lab man in his old lab before he had the one he has now which was equally dope to me you know what i'm saying but he definitely needs a bigger space for all the things he has now but I was in there just, you know, messing around, came up with that shit. I think it started on the guitar, maybe and added the keys or something like that. And then um, came up with the the hook, just came up with whatever I could come up with, you know what I mean? And then when Nikki came up and touched it and Zachy came up and touched it, it just turned into what it was. That's That was probably one of the, yeah, that was just just a simple little funky tune that turned into like a, a family jam and then we had blood blood came into town mm. no i think blood was, was like he, i think blood was out here when that was when oh, that he was, was out here yeah boom and then I, blood but, hit with the but bass, he was boom. downstairs you know we we had like a rotation in the studio of okay. that's right that's when, right when, yeah when we hit record when we hit record it's going like this the doors and people are yeah, okay. just <laughs> like no. this is one big just like experience time goes away but i do remember we was like buying as it was evolving we we're like mom let's hit it with some like motown doo-wop vocals you know what i'm mm, saying and that was yes. real real fun and it definitely like added some sauce to that shit and uh yeah it's just it's 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 nice man and then we got the call your mom part ah oh, it's just a fun <laughs> song mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know what i mean you know it really it's, is. it's good it's a nice funky way I, you know like them old school funk joints that have like a real positive message yeah but are fun still you know what I mean? But if you really break it down to the lyrical content of it, it's just like, hey, but that's a righteous ass message, though. You know what I'm saying? And, exactly. And so it's, uh, there's just not a lot of cuts like that no more. So I'm glad we got to throw something like that on there, you know? Right. And you feel the vibe of all the souls that are in the studio right then. You know, oh, there's like eight cats in there. Having yes, a blast. Exactly. It sounds exactly. like a party. Yeah. Yeah. Like war oh, or something. You know exactly. what I mean? Right. Yeah. We had, yeah. We had Kachung up here in the studio. Okay. Yeah. Bro. Like, like, you hear you know. all of the ways, all of the ways. Yeah. He hit you with that raspy. Right. Ooh. <laughs> Shout out to remember. Kachung who just dropped his uh, new record, which is Fire. Yes. yes. There you go. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I love it. Well, there it is. Yacht Scene, Indian Yard oh. out now on Sub Pop. Thank you so much, fellas, for sharing the music and for taking some time to chat with me today. Thank you. Absolutely. Thank you. What's next? Another record. Yeah. Some shows. Yo. We're playing the Fisherman, right. Fisherman Village Fest. This is our first okay. show in the Northwest. Mm -hmm. uh, I think on the 10th mm -hmm. of September on the main stage. And then, you know, we're playing Timber in, I think, nice. January. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um but yeah, we're we're already recording other cuts right now. Like we're we're just always moving, man. So naturally. Uh, yeah. All right, love to see it. And maybe we'll see you in this room. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Eventually, whenever things open back up. Yes, indeed. Yeah. <laughs> love it. It's okay. crazy. It's crazy right now here in Sitka. There's like eight. It's the highest it's ever been right now. It's popping. Doesn't make sense. Really? Well, I guess it's it like, does. It's vacation season. Catch is coming in. There's, there's in a, lot town. Of tour, a lot of tourism. Yeah. It's like yep. 80, 86 cases in my little community, which is high. So, wow. For a small town like this. So, right. Stay in the house or on the boat. Right. Yeah. Let me it's drive not, the boat. It, it's, not hard, it's not hard to social distance out here, man. Yeah. It's, it's it built will. in. The I, don't really, I don't really mess with anybody anyway. So, I'm always just kind of, you know, right. <laughs> <laughs> at least 600 feet. 
Yeah. <laughs> Straight up. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Brothers, yeah. always a pleasure. Thank you for taking the time. Yes, sir. Thank you. Y'all seen. Right, Bye, yo. KXP at home. Boom. Peace. Discover new music at kexp.org.